Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today we're going to be doing a general timeless reading. We're going to hang out and have this space to relax and breathe, um, get yourself something to drink, and let's just see what the cards have to say for the Pisces Collective. This is good for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Take what resonates with you, leave the rest as always. Not all the messages are going to be for you. Some messages are going to be for other Pisces going through different things watching this video. So, let's see. Universe, angels, beings of love and light, please bring in the most relevant and important messages for Pisces. Please bring in the most accurate predictions, the best advice, and the most powerful confirmations. For those watching, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we get the chariot first card here. Today we're using the what is this called? The 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 the, the pinup pinup yeah pinup girl tarot, which is super cute. We have the chariot, so things are moving forward. Okay, many of you are experiencing a progress. You are balancing the light and the dark, finding a way to integrate that duality within yourselves. Some of you are experiencing literal movement. So you may be traveling, you may be spending a lot of time on the road or on a plane. Some of you may be moving. And some of you may be um, dealing with matters related to vehicles here so this could be you know maybe you have to go and get your car fixed today or get your maintenance done others of you are thinking about maybe getting a new car others of you are thinking about getting a vehicle for the first time others of you of you are thinking about getting rid of your vehicle altogether so this is definitely a theme some of you could be dealing with a cancer as well But ultimately, this is a very, very positive card, letting us know that you are moving towards your goals. The challenge here is showing up as the Seven of Swords. So there could be some sneaky energies around. There could be some temptations happening, some distractions happening. There could be some sketchy people. Lack of clarity um shady intentions okay that could be hindering your progress be very careful that your car or your vehicle is protected make sure that everything is well taken care of make sure that nothing is being tagged on your car that you're not experiencing any of those um you know people who slip an air tag on your purse or stick it to your car to follow you around. Make sure that you're taking a lot of precautions around your vehicle and about um, driving or transportation, please. Make sure as well that you are being treated with honesty. If someone is giving you a weird vibe here, be mindful about that. And look at how interesting. This chariot card, as opposed to usually all the chariot cards, is not actually bringing in any vehicle. Look at her. She is waking up in the middle of the night, scared because she heard something fall within the home. She has a gun in her hand and a, la and a lamp, and she looks scared, okay? So... Paired up with the Seven of Swords, I would say be extra careful at this time. Make sure that, you know, if you have any kind of security, um, cameras or systems at all, make sure that they're working properly. Make sure that, just make sure that you are taking good, good, good care of yourself in all ways that have to do with protection and security.
In the recent past, we got here the Ten of Pentacles. So this is really good. I see that there has been joy, there has been abundance, there have been success, prosperity in your recent past. Um, all of these cards, in all of them, she's wearing white. So this means to me right now, purity. You have a pure heart and it is acknowledged both by um, people who are very happy for you and people who are seeing you perhaps as a bit of a target. So Pisces, be very careful. This is a reading that's giving you just a heads up. No need for fear, no need for any kind of paranoia, but it never hurts to get a reminder to be safe, right? Some of you have experienced lots of freedom in the recent past, stability, building foundations towards the life that you've always dreamed of having. And this is definitely part of your destiny. But you know what else is part of your destiny here? See that we mentioned a target? Some of you may be going to target today. Some of you may um, be, you know, working at target. Part of your whole thing has been to be that focus point. For good and for not that good. Meaning, your success, your victory, your abundance, your prosperity has attracted the attention of both people who are happy for you and people who are jealous of you. And being this target, being this... Um, reference to both what people want and what people resent is a part of your journey for a good reason. It may be annoying, it may be frustrating, it may be all sorts of things. But it is teaching you a lot about how to deal with your greatness, how to set your boundaries, who to trust and how much to trust, how to take good care of yourself while honoring your efforts and your relationships. So it has definitely been a journey, learning journey. But look at this, Six of Swords in the near future. So definitely movement forward, movement forward. You're more, more empowered in the future. You have more sass in the future. You have more autonomy, empowerment. You're not afraid of your leadership skills. You're not afraid to really step up into your most powerful self. I love that Pisces. And some of you are some of you are moving to a safer neighborhood or a safer environment. Some of you are moving into like calmer waters, leaving drama behind, leaving maybe a zone or an area that has been um, starting to get dangerous, a neighborhood that has started to be dangerous for some reason. Uh, maybe to women specifically. It seems like you're moving away from that. Very gracefully too. Yeah, definitely you're moving into a lot of empowerment. See how she's wearing white, 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 then yellow, then red, red. So that is letting me know that in the present moment, you are taking all of your experiences from the past in which maybe you have felt, you know, targeted, and you're transforming that into power, pure power. And you're using it in a very responsible and strong way here. You're allowing others to help you. You are helping others as well. You are allowing very cooperative um, partnerships with good boundaries. And around you, there are going to be more and more opportunities for you to take what's available and really make it your own. There could be a lot of like magnetism surrounding you, a lot of very attractive energy in your environment.
Now she's wearing black. So for some reason, I don't know if this is necessarily the meaning of, you know, uh, black used in this way, but the feeling that it gives me is that now she is keeping her cards close to her chest, you know? It's like she's not um, revealing everything. You have this moment in the near future in which your power is so noticeable but then because of past experiences it seems like you hide it but not in a bad way it's not like you're playing small it's that you know how powerful you are and now you have that information for yourself to use very strategically i don't see you hiding out i don't see you playing small i see you playing better being smarter about things. There could be a fear of disappointment. Maybe you don't want um, other people to sabotage your success. Maybe you feel like that has happened in the past. But now you have the wisdom. You have wisdom that you did not have before, Pisces. You have power that you did not have before. You are better equipped to deal with your power with your success, with your abundance, with your expansion here, okay? Your heart is pure, and it will always be. No matter how successful you are, no matter how much of a billionaire you are, your heart is pure, and that is not changing. So if that is a fear that you have, that you're going to change, or that, you know, things are going to get weird, don't worry about that, because you, you you, you've got it. You've got it, you have it handled, you have the wisdom that you need. Okay, don't let anyone tell you otherwise, because even if you don't know all the answers and even if you don't know how you're going to be reacting and adapting to higher levels of success, Pisces, you do know how to pay attention, see how things are unfolding and correct course if needed. That you know how to do. So if you can do that, then you're good. You are headed towards generational Abundance and prosperity, generational stability, massive success, and freedom. There could be you know, a little bit of sabotage here and there if you feel like things are getting um, a bit intense. But nothing that you cannot deal with, Pisces. Because you're honest with yourself. As long as you're honest with yourself, you're good. Emphasis on security here. Make sure that you are safe in the physical realm. I mean, in every realm, but I'm getting here a lot about like doors, locks, cars, um, theft, all of that kind of thing. Make sure that you are taking all of the precautions needed, maybe even online, to make sure that you're safe, okay? All right, Pisces, so this is what I got for you, beautiful reading. I am very proud to see you owning that success and see how you are headed in the direction of owning it more and more and being more and more empowered and really tackling all you know that you can be, Pisces. Very, very happy about that. For those of you who are interested, there are still some spots available for the 2024 forecasts. These are personalized readings that I create specifically for you, not for the collective, but for you, um, based on your energy and your 2024 predictions. It is a reading that includes month by month breakdowns in which I tell you what this month is great for, you know, what this month is not good for, um, what is the archangel that you can tap into and connect with, what is the crystal that can serve you? What is the number that is giving you additional information? What's the spirit animal that you can rely on? And we go very in-depth into each month. So it tends to be a reading that keeps on giving, right? A reading that you can use every month for the rest of the year. If you're interested in that, there are some spots available. So please make sure to check it out in the description box below. I love you, Pisces, and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye!